Hello guys and welcome back to another Dark Souls 3 PvP video. Today we are going for the Heavy Drake Blood Greatsword plus 10 with the casters in our fan just in case we want to go for some parries. We probably won't be using this too much. I'm pretty terrible at parries as you know by now. As far as the armor goes, we have just got the full Drake Blood armor set. Rings, we haven't really swapped that up much. We have the Ring of Steel Protection plus 2, the Chlorinth Ring plus 2, Lloyd Shield Ring. The reason I think the Lloyd Shield Ring is such a good idea is if you think about it, obviously apart from taking less damage on the first hit when we do receive damage, but when we go for that first trade for trade, we're going to receive a lot less damage than we will receive in the future from that same battle. So it sort of plays with the enemy's mind, it makes him think that it's doing less damage than he is. It'll make him a bit more scared of going for those trade for trades, thinking that we're going to do more damage than he is. I'm not sure if that makes sense to anyone else, but for me it just seems like a really good idea. Then, of course, we have the Ring of Favor plus one. As usual, for those of you who are interested in the stats, here you can see them on screen, level 113, a pretty standard build. Like I did say, I don't really change my stats around too often. I don't like wasting those attribute um, relocation sort of possibilities we have. Unless I'm going to go for a full faith build, a full intelligence build, or something like that. Okay, guys, so let's get into the PvP. Okay, so it has been a couple of days since we've played, so hopefully not too rusty. Let's see what we can do here. I used to use this weapon a lot for PvP, like, in the first week of the game. But it's been a long time, so I'm not sure how well this is going to go. So let's just hope for the best. He's using a lot of shit over there, eh? Come prepared. Go, they've got nice first hit in, that's always nice. I'm not sure if he's using the shield to go for parries or simply for blocking purposes. I would not use that shield for blocking purposes, so we can assume that he's going to try and parry me at some point here. He keeps doing the same thing every time, which is fine by me. Okay, he actually changed it up a bit there. That, was, that I guess, caught me off guard. When he charges in, there he should come back now. No, is he going to come back? There we go. Thought I was going to run out of stamina before he actually charged in though. I knew he was going to wait for me to attack. To then go in for an attack, but I really didn't expect him to take that long to come in for the attack. Whoa, 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 this guy's really trying just about anything to not have to get close to me at this point. Is it over? No. Yes, it is. Okay. I did get a little bit scared there near the end when he started rolling away, but that's the first victory under our belt, so that's a good way to start off the day. See, it's obviously waiting for me to go for an attack, and then he'll charge in, so... Just go in for the first move. There we go. Got nice two hits on off there. That was quite nice. Is that the Ubadachi? Yeah, it looks like it. That weapon is, like, probably my favorite, not moveset, as, like, the rest of the moves are pretty standard, but that, the weapon art on that weapon is one of my favorites by far. Okay, that is bad stun lock going on there. I'm not sure if we could get away from going with a parry at this point or not. Let's try and dodge away from that. I'm not sure, actually quite sure how we hit him there. There may be a little bit of lag. But I'm not going to complain, you know? Okay, that was a relatively easy battle. Um, not too bad. I was quite scared of that, to be honest, though. Those weapons are normally quite lethal. I normally lose against those in PvP, to be honest. Okay, so somebody actually made it in. We've been waiting here yet again. We have been, like, between each battle, we have to wait, like, a good five minutes or so. I have been waiting a long time for you to get into this world, mate. Let's let's get on with it, please. There we go. Let's see what you've got, my friend. Okay, that's probably gonna hit me. No, it's not. We're good. Let's start getting a bit more aggressive here. And able to summon spirit, okay. Wow, this guy really did not know when to stop blocking. Oh, you're an Esther's user. Okay, my friend, that explains so much. Just makes me want to kill you even more. You gonna go for another Esther's? Yes, you are. That's good, that's good. Okay, are we gonna take too many hits here? No, we should be good. Let's try and get another one off. Another Estus? Yep. Okay, he must be running out on Estus soon, I'm expecting, or at least I'm hoping so. I'm going to actually chuck one myself. I think I've earned it. Plus, I'm going to suspect it's going to go for a few more before this battle's over. I'm going to have to try and... With this weapon, I can't really just finish him off in one hit sort of thing unless I go for a parry or something. Whichever you use with another Estus, I'm probably going to have to just try and go for a parry to finish him off before he gets a chance to Estus again. Though we may actually be out of Estus by the looks of things. No, no, my bad. It's never out of Estus. We're going to go for a parry at this point, hopefully. Or not, you know. It's fine by me if we want to keep on trading hits like this. 
Is that not a parry? Let's heal up again before we go for this in case shit gets nasty. I'm not sure, but I don't think we can parry that. That was probably a bad time to go for a parry. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just go for it. Stop rolling away, my friend. He's, he must be wasting so much stamina right now. What an idiot thing to do. And he's going for another one. Okay. I think he must be out by now. And when you're invading the world, you do only get half. Maximum being 15. He has definitely used more than six. If anything, he must have one more left, I reckon. And that's even if he's got all of them. Which I'm guessing at this level he probably does. But we're still going to hope for Yes, we did manage to finish him off. We did use two Estus. I think it was two. We may have used three. Yeah, we only used two Estus in that. Let's get ready for combat. Oh, it's gone for the green blossom right off the bat. I should probably start using that in my PvPs, to be honest. This guy's a lot of health. Hopefully that should equivalent to him not having much damage. Ooh, that bad... Okay, there's another one. I'm not sure if this guy... Oh, yeah, he just seems to have fell down. It's not actually coming in for the battle. Whoa, we need to be careful with that. I'm not actually sure how much range that thing's got, so... Whoa, okay, that is a fucking nasty... Yeah, that just went downhill really fast. Another guy with the cast is okay, a lot of parry's gonna go down, hopefully not. Okay, no, whoa, 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 fucking hell, alright, wasn't expecting that. How many movesets has that weapon got? I don't think I've ever seen that weapon. I may have seen it. I'm just never PvP'd against it up until now. Okay, let's just try and go for a bit of an R1 spam here. Not quite died yet, but... We're gonna get this. I don't want to lose two in a row. It's not really gonna go for parry with that much health left, surely. Yes, he is! Oh my god, he deserves that one. Okay. <laughs> that was pretty good. Okay, he really risked that one for the biscuit. I was not expecting him to go for a parry with that little amount of health left, but he went for it and he got away with it. I did leave it quite open for him to parry. I watched us pretty much spam in the R1 away there at the end. So, I guess it's my bad. Okay, we do have an enemy. I'm not sure why, like, it lets me summon enemies under my world easy enough. It just never lets me invade. Or even when I put the stone down, it keeps on failing. So, I'm not sure what's up with that, but let's just try and do our best now. I've made sure I don't go into Ember form just to make it as close as possible. Is that the... Is that the washing pole? I'm pretty sure that's the washing pole, yeah. Let's go for the black bombs. Going for the attack. There we go. The good bit about this weapon, it really doesn't use up too much stamina. And you can lure him out quite easily by just going for a few fake attacks. This guy's definitely going to go for the parry, yeah. And I've got to be careful with that parry, though, because I don't know when it's going to... Hopefully that guy in the background is not going to get involved. I'm just really scared of getting parried again now after that last battle, you know? Okay, I was really lucky not to get parried there. Especially just after saying that. Seems like it's given up, luckily. There we go. Still going for that other parry. I was not expecting that. If that would have... If it would have pulled that off, I would have been pretty devastated. Things now, I don't know if he's gone for the parry. Yeah, he is. He didn't quite get away with that. The parry with that L2 is quite difficult to pull off. I'm not sure if he's going to go for it again, but if he does, I should hopefully finish this. Next hit's going to win. It's going to be so close. Are we going to do it? There's no way. I cannot believe he actually tried to parry that, that close to death. So he pretty much gave us that win. That's fine. Um, let's go for the next guy. Are we going to... Are we ready? Okay, we're ready. Let's go. Is he going to go for two? Yeah. Oh, I was really lucky to get away from that one. Are we going to go for the trades? No. Fuck. Too close. I can't go for a trade now. I cannot afford to. If I get even scraped, I'm dead. He's definitely going to go for two. If I dodge one, it's definitely going to go in for another one straight afterwards. Maybe in three. Yeah, he can afford to go for a trade hit for hit. So, I'm not sure what I can really do to bring this one back. There's not much I really can do, unfortunately. Just hopefully we can get him off guard at some point. No. Okay, guys, we have been recording for over an hour now. Unfortunately, we don't actually have that many battles recorded, simply because it's been taking me so long between battle and battle to get another opponent. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go into Ember form. We're going to use the Dried Finger and try and get as many opponents in as possible and go on one final last streak, hopefully a successful one before this is over. I was hoping not to have to fight a weapon like this right off the bat, but, you know, as long as we dodge the sail too, we should be good. 
Fucking you know, hell, that thing is so much hyper poise. Okay. It's really hard to tell when we've actually got to dodge that. But if we do, we should be able to get a few hits off after it. He's going for one-handed. He's got the casters. Everyone's going for the casters recently. I'm not sure exactly why. I do know why. It's obviously because of those nice parries you can get off with it. Plus, some people I don't even notice when you've got the casters out. I know I have it a few times. Don't quite get time for the backstab there. We did at least get hit in this time. I'm fine going trade for trade now, my friend. Is he going to go for a charge? Yeah. Luckily, that's not got too much range. Always drops down a little bit later. I'm surprised he's still got enough. How much mana does this guy have? I'm hoping to go for trade for trade at this point, but I'm getting far too greedy, and it's probably going to end. Now we're good. <laughs> I was getting a little bit scared near the end there. I did get a bit carried away there. I thought I just need one more hit. But he kept on knocking me back. Unfortunately, no one else has yet invaded. So let's see if we can actually get a few more enemies in here. It has been quite a boring episode today. So let's see if we can actually go out with a bit of a bang at least. We're we going to go for a back step. No, we are not. This guy really is not doing too much of a good job of dodging this. Keep thinking I can get away with that back step. But I'm just a little bit too slow. Be careful with this. He's going for the shield. Is he going to go? Yeah, he's trying to go for the parry, but it's not going to work out, my friend. There it is. Okay, that was a, a pretty embarrassing PvP, but you know, that's fine. Let's just move on with the next guy. Are we ready? Okay, yeah, we are ready. We're more than ready. Okay, he's actually using the Black Knight Glaive. I know by experience that that thing is fucking lethal, so we need to be really careful here. It's got a lot more range than it looks like it's got. We just need to watch out for the R1 and then the spinny attack and we should be good. He doesn't seem to be very experienced with that thing, luckily. If not, I don't think we'd have gone for that jump attack, to be honest. That seems like a really bad idea. Especially against the faster weapon. He keeps on spamming that R1. I know it's got range, but I think he's really overestimating that range on that thing. Another guy going for the parry. So many people seem to be going for the parry today. Unsuccessful. And there goes another one. I'm so happy that we're actually going on a bit of a streak here near the end. We have had quite an unsuccessful and boring day, but we're actually we're doing quite nice here now. Okay, he's actually here. I did not realise he was here already. That was Is he using the invisibility ring? Whoa. Okay. Hello. Fume Ultra Great Sword. It's been quite a while since I've seen this. I really can't afford to get hit by that second shit as well. Like the second swipe on the way up, that's the most lethal one. Whoa! Everyone seems to be really fucking good at parrying today. Oh, God. Is he going to go for a parry again? I'm so scared of getting parried again now. It's fucking ridiculous. That was close. I'm fucking glad I didn't hit him, to be honest. Next hit wins. Am I going to get parried yet? Oh, fuck. Not that thing. Oh, wow. This is going to be close. Can't afford to get parried, please no. Oh, probably not. I'm so worried about getting parried and probably just can get fucking hit. No! You fucking bastard! Oh dear. Okay guys, that was not how I was expecting to end off this video. But I guess it could have been worse. We could have got parried there at the end. So, you know, that may have been a good thing after all. But anyway guys, that has been the Drake Blood build on Dark Souls 3 PvP. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and we'll see you next time.